Hey everyone, this is Mars. I'm back with the uh, channel update. If you are uh, still subscribed to me after all this time, I just want to tell you I appreciate it. Uh, I've had some health issues the past year, and uh, well, I've got uh, story is I've got uh, kitty disease. It runs in the family, and uh, it it got me early. I started getting sick when I was 30. I'm about to turn 50 now. So I've been dealing with it for about 20 years. Uh, I had a kitty transplant uh, when I was, oh, about 35. And uh, managed to hold on to that kidney for about 15, you know, about 13 years. Anyway, I lost it uh, last year and had to go back on dialysis. So I've been on dialysis for about a year now. So uh, the good thing is, you know, dialysis is rough, but uh, I'm coping. And uh, I'm a vet, so uh, VA, I get a, uh, a stipend from the VA, and I get my Social Security, so all this has kicked in the last few months, so I'm um, getting by. I'm actually making more money now than I did back when I was making $28 an hour at Chrysler, so like that's one good thing, I guess. So hopefully, uh, God willing, next year or so, I'll get another kidney. And then be able to get back into the workforce and uh, get back in the swing of things. So anyway, uh, I, as a result of everything that's happened last year, my uh, collectibles buying and video making and binding and everything had to take kind of, take kind of a back seat. <clears throat> so, but uh, I've been watching most of your videos, the people I subscribe to. Uh, just last night, I watched uh, After Comics, his latest video. Uh, if you're not subscribed to Alan's channel, you need to. He's always got just incredible books, and he always tells great stories. And uh, with his encouragement, I am uh, said, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll get back into the game and start making videos again. I've been buying a lot of uh, records lately, to be honest with you. Uh, I've kind of gone back through my second adolescence. I've been uh, haven't buying a whole lot of comics, but I have been buying a lot of uh, metal records that I grew up listening to when I was a teen in the '80s. So if you can see some of them over there, so maybe I'll do a video on what's been occupying me in the past few months. But in the meantime, uh, most of you guys that are stuck around are used to seeing my binding projects, uh, with mostly uh, Bronze Age comics, the books I grew up with in the '70s. Those are that's like my golden age, so those books mean a lot to me. So there may be a couple here that I've shown before. I'm not sure. I'm too lazy to go back in my videos and see if I've shown these or not. So some of these are close to a year old or so. I don't know if I've shown them or not. Here, like this is uh, my Kill Raven volume, War of the Worlds, which I think I noticed is just, uh, I think Marvel's just announced this for a Marvel Masterwork. So uh, they're going to reprint, which is weird because they haven't done Ghost Rider yet, but they're doing Kill Raven. So anyway, but I've already got one. So this is the uh, entire Kill Raven saga, War of the World saga from Amazing Adventures. These are wonderful books. I think the first couple issues are Neil Adams and Howie Shakin. And I think P. Craig Russell takes over. Uh, it's really a fun book. So... If, uh, if you haven't investigated this series, I highly recommend it. It was it's kind of a hidden gem of the Bronze Age. A lot of great art, and uh, I always dug the strange, you know, strange titles of the Marvel's Bronze Age. I like this one in Son of Satan, and those kind of books always kind of floated my boat. Uh, these I think are new. This is DC Superstars. Volume 1 and Volume 2. These are reprint books for the most part, although this volume has the first appearance of the Huntress. I put these, I put a run of these together pretty cheap. And uh, I had to go with a different, my, my regular binder went out of business. He left the country. So I had to find a different company. Um, they actually did these for me for free on spec to try to get my business because I knew I do a lot of binding so I can't you know complain that the graphics 
my old guy did all the graphics and I I'm not crazy about these graphics you know they do this nice thing with the this little band here which is pretty cool and they even sent let's see if I've got one here I don't see one here. They even sent uh, bookmarks, made bookmarks, which is really cool. So uh, gonna take a little tweaking to get what I like, but uh, they did a fine job with these books. And these are, you know, for the most part, these are Silver Age reprints, you know, that were published in the Bronze Age. And, uh, you guys are probably familiar with these books. Volume one. This is volume two, and I said this, this is issue 19, I think, that has the first Huntress. Yeah, oh, there's one of the bookmarks there. See, they put this together for me for free, which is these. There's the name of the studio, Heroes Rebound. You can find them on Facebook, but uh, they do find work. They don't charge very much. So, anyway, there's DC Superstars. Let's see what else I got over here. One of my my probably my favorite reprint title, Bronze Age reprint title was DC's Wanted. I love these books. I love the graphics and the covers of the wanted posters. And uh, if you were growing up, I mean, in the '70s, you got to see a lot of characters that you know you'd never heard of before. But they do Doctor Fate stories and Johnny Quick and you know. Green Arrow, Golden Age Green Arrow, and it has my all-time favorite, oh here it is right here, from Batman 25, my favorite Batman story, The Knights of Knavery, which is the famous Joker and Penguin team-up from the Golden Age. That's my, this was, I read this book to pieces when I was a kid, for that story right there, it's the Joker and the Penguin together. This is a great title. This is, uh, it started out, the one it started out in, I think, DC Special, or, let's see, what is it? Is it DC Special? Yeah, DC Special. They did two issues of DC Special. Uh, they started the Wanted series, and then they graduated into its own title. And I think it ran nine issues. Issues. DC Special presents 8, 14, and then 1 through 9. So, that's a whole run. Again, this back cover, you know, a little plain. I would like to have them, and, and I'm not crazy about that. I'd rather have a full size image in my book, but what are you going to do? It was free. So, they did good work. Uh, then, then some modern titles, relatively modern titles. Uh, this is the 1980s Shadow series, which was really a highlight for me. Uh, this this came out about the time I went in the Air Force. I uh, enlisted in '86 after high school, and this book just really blew my mind. Um, the Bill Sienkiewicz covers, and he did the artwork for the first six issues. And then uh, this was Kyle Baker's first work for DC. And, you know, Baker is just terrific. And Andy Heffer wrote these stories, and they're really... He put the shadow in the, in the you know, then modern 80s. And uh, they're really fun stories. They're not pulpy at all. They're kind of, you see, almost, almost like weird fiction, you know. But this is good stuff. This is a really fun series. This is one of my favorite of the 80s, so I... And you can get these dirt cheap, the Shadow. You know, most 80s books you can get dirt cheap. These are real cheap. They had a couple of modern titles of uh, Demon Knights back in the New 52. This is one of my favorite titles, the New 52. I really like this book. It's kind of a Dungeon and Dragons type story of the DC Universe with the Demon and Vandal Savage and... Viking Prince. Is it Viking Prince? I don't know it it's Grant Morrison's uh, Shining Knight. Shining Knight from Seven Soldiers. This, if you haven't read it and you're not averse to modern comics, was a great series. Really a great series. So this is the whole run of Demon Knights. 
really, really a good book. Very good. And then finally, I also had another one of my favorite titles in the Mi-52 was Frankenstein, Age of the Shield. I ended up selling that, which I kind of regret, but I can get another one bound. Uh, and this is Grant Morrison's run on Action Comics, which was, you know, I love anything Morrison does. Well, almost anything. I'm not crazy about his vertical stuff. Invisibles, I've tried to read like three times, and I can't make heads or tails of it. But his superhero stuff is the best. And uh, as much as I love Marvel, DC is home for me. So uh, Grant Morrison on Superman is just, it's just a home run. And this is just a terrific, terrific, terrific series. So Rex Morales did the art for most of these. And as always, he ends up telling one big, it's, I think there's 18 issues in his run of action. And he ends up telling one big mind mini story. And uh, this was another highlight of the New 52. New 52 get a bad rap, but there's some good books. You know, the uh, Scott Snyder Batman was really good, and those issues are pretty expensive. You can go back issue diving for those. Morrison's uh, action is good, and uh, Jeff Johns' JLA was pretty good. So anyway, that's what I have for you right now. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the big delay. I, I appreciate you guys who stuck around with me, and uh, hopefully I'll get back in the swing of things, and maybe next time I'll throw some records out here, and you know, hopefully some of you will find that interesting. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. God bless, and I'll see you again soon.